because in Vrindavan, uh, mood of neutrality is practically absent. Either only four mellows are more or less represented. So here, Dasya means servitorship. Hmm. So servitorship is actually very much prominent in Vaikuntha. Bhavanta nevana charantanta nishesha manoratantara kadaha mekantika dipte kinkara saharshishya misranath jibitam In future Raya Ramana Samad, this verse will come. And, oh Lord, when will I become successful? When I become, when will I become your servant? And so in uh, this particular, um, this verse from Stotra Ratna of Yamunacharya is quoted here. Yamunacharya was who? Yamunacharya, his um, <coughs> grandfather actually went to Vrindavan. And when he saw Jamuna Devi, then he said, oh, if I have a grandson, I will name him after Jamuna. Then he had a grandson and he named him after Jamuna. So his name was Yamunacharya. And uh, Ramanacharya and Yamunacharya never met each other. Yamunacharya was Alabandru. He was a Vishnama, but he happened to become a king. Then he became kind of entangled in the activities of a king. Some some Vishnama showed mercy to him and uh, again engaged him in the service of Lord Ranganath. So Yamunacharya, Again, which had stopped because of um, uh, handling the position of a king. But Yamunacharya, when he left the world, his three fingers were closed. And Ramanacharya understood why these three fingers are closed and he expressed his desire that he will write commentary on um, Vedan Sutra, he will preach uh, the Sri Sampradaya there, and uh, he will accept sannyas. So, so all the desires which Yamunacharya had, Ramanacharya took the vow to fulfill them. And then the three fingers which were closed in Yamunacharya's head opened here. So Yamunacharya has written this wonderful verse about Dasya When shall I feel joyful to have such a fitting master as you? Who is the most fitting master? In this material world we see that everyone is trying to be a master, no one wants to be a servant. And most of the masters, they are also very cool. Understand? You will see that in material world, you may have worked for a company for a long time, and then uh, they will sack you. Uh, they will sack you. This has been happening in so many big companies like Twitter and Facebook. So they, when they feel any financial crunch, they sack you. You may be on a bike and you will get a message from your you know, CEO that you are fired. Understand? You don't have to come also to the office. On the way, you will get a message like that. So you will see that there is no mercy in this world. Mm. But Krishna will never fire you. He will never retrench you. He will never sack him. Bhavanta nevana nirantara, emana charam nirantara, prasanta nishesha manoratantara. Kadaha nevantika nitta kinkara sprahar shansha sanatana. By serving your, by serving you constantly, one is freed from all material desires and is completely pacified. When shall I engage as your permanent eternal servant always feel joyful to have such a fitting master? And see that Hanuman is always very happy. Because he's received master like Lord Ramchandra who's very affectionate and kind. Parallar is very happy. Uh, Uddhav is very happy. Akrura is very happy. But especially in Braj, Raktak Patrak are very, very happy to have a master like Sri Krishna. What to speak of Raktak Patrak? Everyone in Braj is actually servant of Krishna. Nanda Maharaj and Ashwada are also servants of Krishna. Servant and met servant of Krishna. But as per Rasa, Nanda Maharaj is more in a parental affection below. Although in the constitutional position of Nanda Maharaj and Ishwara and everybody is to be servant of Krishna. So the second mellow is actually talking about his mellow of friendship, Sakya. This is a higher mellow. This mellow was seen partially in, um, you know, Sukriva and Ramchandra. Sukriva was a friend of Ramchandra. This also was seen in Bibishan and Ramchandra. But more or less in Ayodhya or in Dwarka, uh, actually there is no pure Sakya. Even Arjuna's Sakya towards um, Krishna vanished when he saw the universal form. That Sakya is mixed with mood of oil and reverence. There is no pure Sakya. But the Sakya of Braja, the Sakya of the Vrajavas is Shidam, Dham, Vasudam, So Krishna, Brunga, Kokil is so free from mood of oil and reverence. It is completely human-like and sweet 
self-care and friendship. Now the third mello is talking about is Vatsalya, the parental affection. Devaki also had parental affection for Krishna, but when she saw him manifesting uh, before her in forearm form, she think she thought that he is the master and she is the servant. For some time when she saw the forearm form of Krishna, she lost that mood that he is master. But when he again like became a baby, then she again began to think that he is my son. Means her mood is also mixed with mood of honor and reverence. There is no pure vatsalya or pure parental affection in Mathura or Dwarka, or what to speak in Ayurveda or Vaikuntha. In Vaikuntha, actually, Krishna is no mother and no father. So who will he bow down to? He doesn't have to bow down to anyone because there is no, no mother and no father. So when Narsimhadev actually uh, saw Prahlad Maharaj and he kept Prahlad in his lap and caressed him and licked his body like a lion or lioness will lick the body of her cubs or his cubs. So like that, that time Lord thought, oh, I have no mother, no father. Prahlad has, I'm like father to Prahlad, but actually I have no mother, father. I will start accepting mother and father. So later the next incarnation, he started accepting mother and father. Previous to that, he did not used to accept mother and father. And then Shrungar is the topmost place. The Shrungar is conjugal love. Now, conjugal love is the topmost place is for Shrungar Ras is actually Pritnava. Like uh, Gurudev was talking about how a Shrungar word Krishna decorated to the bread of Radharani. And then um, Krishna had vanished from Rasdila along Radharani. Because Guru was telling that when Rasila was going on, Krishna was dancing very fast. Hmm. Uh, some people say that there were billions of gopis and Krishna was dancing with them and Krishna expanded in billion forms and danced with each gopi. Then Shila Vishnu Chavathakur Pad would say that this is a mood of iron reverence. This cannot be applicable to branch. If Krishna would manifest millions and billions of forms to dance with gopis, then what is the difference between Braj Lila and Vaikuntha Lila? So therefore Krishna did not manifest millions of forms to dance with millions of gopis. He rather danced so swiftly, so fast, and that it appears that there were billions of Krishna, but there was only one Krishna. For example, you take, uh, Gurudev telling that you take a tip of a uh, incense stick and then you revolve it very swiftly, then you see that it is forming a fiery circle. So like that Krishna was dancing very, very fast millions of gopis and it appeared that there were many Krishnas but actually there was only one Krishna. And each gopi thought that Krishna is dancing with me only. But when Radharani saw that, when Radharani saw that he is dancing with all the gopis and not only with me but with all the gopis, other gopis did not see Krishna dancing with other gopis. But Radharani saw that he, is, he was dancing with every single gopi. And she developed man and all the other gopis had developed very fortunate called Sobhagya Mata. So in order to remove the pride in the heart of other gopis and to quench the passionate anger uh, or called Mana, uh, Salki mood of Radharani, Krishna uh, disappeared from there. First Radharani left and behind that Krishna also disappeared from there. Then all the gopis started searching for Krishna. They didn't know that he has taken Radharani. So then they came at Shungarvat, they saw the footprints of Krishna and one gopi, uh, and then the party of Radharani, the group, the members of Radharani's party, they realized that it was the footprints of Radharani. So you cannot see these pastimes even in Vaikuntha, not in Ayodhya, not in... These melos are very much prominently present in Vrindavan. So here it is said that, uh, Chari, four, Bhavera of sentiments, of the devotee, Jata, as many as there are, Krishna Lord, Krishna, Dara, by them, worship, subdued. Servitude, Dasya, friendship, Sakya, parental affection, Bhatsarya, and Sanitar, Vashnagar, are the four transcendental mellows, Rasad. By the devotees who cherish these four mellows, Lord Krishna is subdued. Now, they can control Krishna. No doubt that Rakhus Patra can control Krishna. More Dhaman, Vasudhaman, Bhunga Kukin, they can control Krishna. More and more 
should I and then the bark of control Krishna. And then Dadarani will control us the most. So everyone can control Krishna. All the members of these four mellows, all the those who practice these four mellows, they can control Krishna, but most control from Shungaras. And among them also Radharani. Dasya Satya Vachat and Shungar are the transcendental modes of loving service to the Lord. Shantaras, the neutral stage is not mentioned in this verse because although in Shantaras one considers the absolute truth, the sublime great, one does not go beyond the conception. Shantaras is a very, very grand idea for materialistic philosophers, but such idealistic appreciation is only the beginning. It is the lowest among the relationships in the spiritual world. Shantaras is not given such importance because as soon as there is a slight understanding between the knower and the known, active knowing, active loving transcendental reciprocation and exchange begin. Dasya is the basic relationship between Krishna and his devotee. Therefore, this verse considers Dasya the first stage of transcendental devotion. Meaning, Dasya the service begins, like Hanuman. He is massaging the lotus feet of Lord Ramchandra, he is carrying Lord Ramchandra on his shoulder. He is helping Ramchandra in so many ways, massaging his feet, bringing him water, bringing him food, fruit, everything. When Lakshman has fallen unconscious, he is going and bringing the herbs and medicines which the doctor of Ravan had prescribed. But when he could not find those herbs, he brought the entire mountain. Only Hanuman can do like this, understand? So, so many Srivas, this is the basic relationship. The first relationship is Das Srivas. But Hanuman, he cannot uh, uh, sit on the same bed with Ramchandra or he cannot put his hand on the shoulder of Ramchandra like this. Not possible. That will be possible only in Sakharas. So, Dasa Sakha Pita Mata Kanta Gnalanya Rajakrida Kare Krishna Prema Abhishta. Das, Dasa means servants. Sakha means friends. Pita, Mata, father and mother. Kanta, Gana, lovers. Uh, Laya, king, Vraja, in Vraja, Kridakari, plays Krishna, Lord Krishna, Prema, Avishta, absorbed in love, Haya, being. Absorbed in such transcendental love, Lord Sri Krishna enjoys in Vraja with his devoted servants, friends, parents, and conjugal lovers. Perfect. The, the descent of Sri Krishna, the absolute personality of God, it is very purposeful. In Bhagavad Gita, it is said that one the truth about descent and his various activities is at once liberated and does not have to fall again to this existence of the time that he leaves this present material body. Hmm. So, this verse is actually 911. Janma Karma Jameya, no, some other verse. Janma Karma Jameya Divya, Evam Yo Vet Jadvataha. So this particular verse is a very important verse. So Krishna is telling, Janma karma chame eti vyam evam yo veti ratvataha tattva deham punar janma naiti maame iso arjuna. Arjuna, my birth and activities are transcendental. This is fourth chapter, ninth verse. Another birth after giving up the breath body. He suddenly attends me. So actually, it is a great uh, relief actually. When we hear about the birth and pastimes of Sri Krishna from the lips of Gurudev, Vaishnavas, then we become free from this present body. No more birth. What a great relief actually. Uh, because you see that this body is really very painful. Understand? This body is very, very painful. Uh, and uh, any organ, any organ that is damaged gives so much pain. Like uh, And you don't know when the danger is going to come. Any mo any moment danger can strike. Uh, like, like last night I, I had uh, uh, some toothache. By on my my own mistake, it ate something wrong. I developed some toothache. And then I realized that this body is actually uh, is the uh, a very dangerous body. Uh, any nerve pain or something, toothache I had. I like this body is very, very painful. Mm. Obviously, by Krishna's mercy, I took some medication, some Ayurvedic herbal medicines, and I felt better, much better. 
I mean, a position to give class. But last night, oh, I could not have spoken at all. It was such big pain. So you see that um, this is the problem. Uh, this is also the problem. Uh, uh, actually, the Vaishnava's body is transcendental. Mm. Uh, but you see sometimes that a Vaishnava also exhibit a pastime of being sick. Uh, what happens actually is that we do commit some offenses. We do commit some offenses to Gurudev, Vaishnavas. So now, if we don't, if they don't forgive us or they don't give us a chance to serve, uh, then we'll have to suffer for those offenses in so many lifetimes. So what Gurudev does, um, uh, he enacts the pastime of being sick. Although his body is transcendental, he'll enact the pastime of being sick. And when he enacts the pastime of being sick, uh, we get a chance to serve Gurudev. And whenever Gurudev is sick, uh, then we will do some of the things. I remember when our Gurudev was sick, um, Shripa Dandi Maharaj took one healer. When Mataji was there, she took and she did some healing on Gurudev. And then she got a chance to be very close to Gurudev because she was using her healing and healing energy. Then Maharaj arranged some medicines, did that, you know. Everyone was praying, we were doing Kirtan for Gurudev's recovery. So many devotees came from China and hours and hours they were doing Kirtan like that. Same thing also in Bhakti the Madhav Goswami Maharaj also his biography. I was uh, hearing. Uh, you see, Bhakti Dan Siddhanti Maharaj has read it, the biography written by Srila Bhakti and Maharaj Maharaj. In that also, uh, when Srila Bhakti the Madhav Goswami Maharaj was sick, all the Vaishnavas, they were doing continuous kirtan. They admitted him to the hospital also. They did so much seva to him. Understand? So when we see that our Gurudev is sick, we do seva to him and become free from the offenses, which we are committed at his lotus feet, knowing or uh, unknowing. Actually, Vaishnava's body is completely transcendental. Uh, for example, Srila Bhakti the Madhav Goswami Maharaj left the body, and then some Vaishnava came and touched the body of Srila Bhakti, the Madhav Goswami Maharaj, and he said, Oh, this body is warm. Uh, how can we give Samari to this body? This is, are we not giving Samari to a living person? Means his body was completely warm like a living person. That means his body becomes cold after death. Understand? But so because the Vaishnava's body is completely transcendental. Understand? So that's why these Vaishnavas, uh, they have come to this world. Uh, to give us relief. Uh, and actually, <laughs> when Shila Bhakti Deita Madhav Goswami Maharaj asked Shila Bhakti Gyan Bharati Maharaj, we to start giving initiation. Then he said that to give initiation, you have to have compassion like Vasudeva Datta, or you have to have compassion like uh, Shri Prahlad Maharaj. When Prahlad Maharaj prayed to the city, oh Lord, give me the sins of all the Vaishnavas in the all the or let me suffer in the hell on their behalf, but free them from their sinful reactions and liberate them. Such compassion for another experience. And also, Dutta, he also prayed to Jaitanya Mahaprabhu that let me suffer on the behalf of all the living entities in the world and let me tor be tormented in the hell for eternity, but don't give torture to the living entities. Give their sins to me and let me suffer on their behalf. This is called compassion. Understand? called compassion, like Lord Jesus Christ also said, you know, that I will, um, oh Lord, uh, forgive them, he forgive them. When he saw that Judas uh, had betrayed him, then he did not take revenge upon him, I uh, understand. But rather he prayed um, actually for them. Um, uh, like actually, um, <clears throat> Not many people could recognize Krishna, but Krishna Maharaj talks about this. Krishna himself came and went unrecognized by many. Uh, when Lord Krishna came, how many people recognized him? Even today, there is a big section of people in the world. They say that Krishna is not God. <laughs> uh, and then they say that he was uh, hit by an arrow of a hunter and he died like that. Uh, even today, people don't accept, many people don't accept Krishna as God. Mm. So in the case of Jesus also, we find that Judas, one of his twelve disciples, was a traitor. Jesus said, disappointed, the one who will betray me is amongst the twelve of you. So should we think that because we have come to a great man, now we have attained everything, devoted everything? It is not such an easy thing. We have only a slight connection with the infinite and we have to progress with that capital. To think that we have attained everything is rather the opposite feeling. 
one who is approaching towards the infinite will see more and more that is nowhere symptoms will be the opposite so you see that um, the vaishnavas are full of compassion they are only mercy and everything they do about uh, is mercy actually mm. now you will see that um, shri padandi maharaj always serving the cows not many people are willing to serve the cows understand like um, shri pad bhakti vidant bhakti vigyan bharati maharaj his name was actually narottam narottam and narottam brahmachari so one time bhakti kamal madhusan maharaj came to their mat chaitanya gaudi mat in that mayapur and there um, he saw the all the cows were looking very bright very shiny and um, they came from grazing and then immediately they surrounded narottam brahmachari Then he asked one brahmachari that why these cows are looking so bright? Who is cleaning them and bathing them every day? He said that because the brahmachari is doing that, and that's why they are all attached to him and they are surrounding him now. He is taking very nice care of the cows. So then Bhakti Kumal Madhusan Maharaj, who himself was born in a Brahmin family, he asked, uh, he asked uh, Narottam brahmachari that what is your name? Then he said my name is Narottam brahmachari. That is Bhakti Gyan Bharati Maharaj before Sanyas. Then he said, No, no, I want to know your um, karmi name. I want to know your name means when you are in family life. What was your name? Then he said, My name was Narottam Chakravarti. Then he said, Oh, you are from Brahmin family. That's why you are taking such nice care of cows. You are from a good family. He said, One of my disciples thinks that taking care of cows is low class. He says, "I am Brahmacharya. I will take care of Thakur Ji. Why cows? We didn't understand the cows are also very dear to Krishna. If we serve the cows, Krishna will be pleased." Then you see that Bhakti Gyan Bharati Maharaj, what he used to do, he used to bring a light by soap, um, and then he used to bathe the cows with that, and he used to feed them nice food stuffs. And once um, Shri Bhakti Gyan Bharati Goswami Maharaj came. And he saw the cows, and they were very looking very attractive. And they all surrounded Narottam Brahmachari. And they, he asked, "Who is taking care of the cows?" They said, "Narottam Brahmachari is taking care of the cows." Then he was very pleased. Then he said, "You know, bring something for these cows to eat." And uh, then he went. Narottam Brahmachari went to the garden and brought some guavas. And the guavas he gave to cows, and cows ate them happily. But the Maharaja Maharaj. Put the guavas, ripe guavas, before the cows. Cows ate them happily. Then he said, "Take ten rupees and bring some uh, mustard cakes. And generally, mustard seeds, seeds are pulverized and oil is extracted from them. Then what remains is eatable by the cows. These mustard cakes, uh, mustard seed cakes, are very much palatable for the cows. And then he said, purchase ten rupees and feed these cows. He was very happy by that service. So um, very very important that we take care of the cows." Understand. So Shiva Dandi Maharaj also, he takes care of cows very nicely. Uh, this is very pleasing to Lord Krishna, no doubt about it. But not many people understand. Uh, they only want to serve the meat, is not cows. Um, so here, um, uh, but in the lives of Shila Bhakti, the Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Shila Bhakti Gyan Bharati Goswami Maharaj, Shiva Dandi Maharaj, our Guru Dev, we see that they, how much. They stressed the cows, uh, service to the cows, and importance of the cows for Vedic culture. Understand? So, the descent of Sri Krishna, the absolute personality of Godhead, is very purposeful. It is said that one who knows the truth about Krishna's descent and his various activities is at once liberated, not one, not slowly liberated, at once liberated. That's why they are pure jagat. And does not have to fall again to this existence of birth and death after he leaves his present material body. In other words, one who actually understands Krishna makes his life perfect. Imperfect life is realized in material existence, in five different relationships. Uh, like you see that now there is one yatra going on in India, Bharat Jodo Yatra. Sri Rahul Gandhi ji has started this yatra against the Modi government and is walking from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. And one man, Mr. Pandey, I think he was a Brahmin person. He was a member of Congress party, and he was walking with Rahul Gandhi ji, and he suddenly collapsed and he left the body in the Bharat Jodo Yatra. So they announced a compensation of twenty-five lakh rupees. 
சில பக்தம் ஆலோக சோமரா சாரிஸ்
means he has complete freedom to do anything and everything you know the definition of autocrat there are so many autocrats are known in the history of the world like hitler he became an autocrat of germany then also lenin and the stalin and all they became autocrats of russia then mao became an autocrat in china and there are also many arab sheikh sheikh as they call them and they are autocratic in uh, uh, saudi arabia and other places an autocrat means you have full freedom you cannot ask a question you can do as you like but some autocrats are very much uh, crazy uh, they are very crazy they know what they do and what they not do now you will see that in north korea also there is an autocrat uh, you know what he will do unpredictable understand but krishna is not merciless autocrat he is a very merciful autocrat and second thing is that you should give full control to a person who is intelligent who is very compassionate who is very kind and most qualified and which is good for everyone what is the point in giving freedom to a person who is crazy who may do damage to others who has no mercy for others giving full freedom to such a person and making him an autocrat is very bad but rather giving full autocratic towards to krishna who is very compassionate who is very kind who does not want to harm even his enemies who loves even his enemies that is good so we should hand over all the control to that supreme autocrat krishna understand so yathesh the vihari krishna kare antarga krishna perform past times is fullest satisfaction and then he disappear from this world um, that will you further discuss there are so many wonderful verses in this particular book chetan charita and uh, in between some sanskrit verses are uh, interspersed and some uh, sanskrit verses are also distributed here and there by krishna sivaraj goswami But Krishna Kumar and Goswami said that my book has been only few Sanskrit verses. There are some books like Shrimad Bhagavatam and Krishna Gam, Krishna Mrutam, um, then um, Bhavana, Krishna Bhavana Mrutam, Mahatabhya of Krishna Jivan Hathur, and also Swami Dilapur. All books may have so many Sanskrit verses or books. But my this work is Bengali. It's very easy to understand. Only some verses are explained there. And when, whenever I quote a Sanskrit verse, Krishna's favorite to Swami, I also give up the Tamil Bengali meaning after that, so that people will not miss those who don't know Sanskrit. So that's why this book is very very helpful. So there he quotes a verse: "Vacha sutra shervani nati kala pragal vaya radika mukhida kunchi da dojana vechan akre sakti namaso." Tad vaksho dhor chitra ke bi makari pandit ka param gata kaishoram sapani karoti kalayam kunchi vyaram. that how krishna is performing sweet past time with radha rani and these said like so all that is all this past time krishna performs with radha rani in the secret groves uh, and then he disappears from this world antardhana kari mane kare anuman now krishna has disappeared from this world gone back to gola pundavan and now he is thinking something understand so lord krishna enjoys his transcendental past times as long as he wishes And then it disappears. After disappearing, however, things does. What is Krishna thinking? Chira dala nahi kori prema bhakti da bhakti vina jagat nahi avatan. Actually, that is a club. Actually, billionaires club. The billionaires club, you know, Warren Buffett or whatever you know, um, George, you know, our. <coughs> Microsoft founder and others, they are actually billionaires club. Mm-hmm. They have tremendous wealth and they give half of their wealth to charity. Mm-hmm. So Krishna also like that. Krishna relished so much love and affection of the gopis, he experienced everything. But then when he's gone back to Golok, he's thinking that, really speaking, uh, people did not benefit from my Braja pastime. Because very few qualified people could see those pastimes. And uh, they will not distribute it. Anything that is very valuable uh, that is not distributed, then what is the point? Like for example, Shri Guru Dev used to say, "I have written so many books. Um, like for example, one book was your Bhajan Rasya. Shri Guru Dev, Bhajan Rasya is not a separate book. Bhajan Rasya is actually the second part of um, uh, Hari Nam Chitta Mani. So Shri Guru Dev said that this Hari Nam Chitta Mani book." Um, um second part bhajan rasya when i was giving classes on bhajan rasya 
uh, one didi, Savita didi, she noted down what I spoke on Janarasya. And then she made nice notes and then she showed me these notes. When I saw the notes, I could not believe that I have spoken this. Then he thought that maybe Bhaktivinoda Thakur is inspired to speak as in Bhaktivinoda Because how can I speak the Sarikata, elevated Sarikata? So he took that notebook and he went to Cebu, Cebu in Philippines. Uh, and on the shore of an ocean, I think, and he got time and then he um, edited that notes of which Savita Didi had taken and then he published that book at Bhajan Rasya. We have a book of Bhajan Rasya now. So the point I'm making here is that um, uh, Bhajan Rasya is a great book, but if we don't distribute these books, we don't distribute the origin of Ratha Yatra to others, or at least uh, send them a message, link, website, PDF to download, then read it, and then all the effort of Gurudev is uh, in vain, understand? So it is the duty of the disciples to distribute these books. Like for example, I was seeing the website of Iskon Ghana. Ghana is actually the West Africa, I think. Um, <coughs> and there now they have something called Prabhupada Marathon. Iskon has Marathon. And they distribute as many books as possible of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj till next uh, year beginning. Huh? Because there will be um, Moksha Ekadashi on which the day Krishna spoke, Krishna spoke Bhagavad So on this uh, eve of uh, Moksha Ekadashi, one or two or three months marathon, they try to give Bhagavad Gita as it is and other books of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj at a concession rate. Hmm. So Srila Gurudev and uh, Shamarana Giti also. They always encourage us to distribute Srila Gurudev's books. Huh? And always there are many, many concession tables are uh, there. And you can also see if you can uh, get that concession and distribute these books. Huh? I know you are going to Jamuna Didi. Uh, she also distributes. And uh, you should all try to make an effort to distribute some books of Srila Gurudev. Because this, this is actually, um, Srila Bhakti Raksha Siddhar Maharaj wrote a very great poem. And there he said that in Navati pastimes, the Braja Rasa is distributed. Hmm. He quotes a very nice verse. Atma Siddha Savalila Purana Saukya Lakshanam Swanubhava Mattam Zutya Kirtan Atma Vantanam. Kirtan Atma Vantanam. Kirtan is the way of distributing that love. Hmm. So, we should try to distribute this. Harinam Sankirtan is the way to distribute that love between Dada and Krishna. So for a long time, I have not bestowed unalloyed loving service to me upon the inhabitants of the world. Without such loving attachment, the existence of the material world is useless. If there is no love, actually there is no love, household is also useless. In a family, in a family setup, if the mother and father hmm, Mother and father, um, no love for children, and children have no love for mother and father. Then what is this? Uh, what is the point actually? Uh, but you know, uh, one question was asked actually that um, one lady from India, an American man, asked her question that what is the difference between India and America? They said in India we don't have to take an appointment to meet our parents. Means <laughs> actually the contact between the mother and the father has become so late in the Western countries that the family is falling apart. So everything, material world will be useless if there is no love. Household also will be useless if there is no love. Everything is possible by love and affection. Hmm. The Lord seldom avoids pure transcendental love, but without such pure love of God, free from fruity activities and empiric speculation, one can not attain perfection in life. So there is a verse actually in Sanskrit, Muktim Dadaani Karachi Svanabhakti. But Krishna may accept to give four types of liberation, right? Just Sarupya, Samipya, Salupya, Sarasti, like this. Four types of liberation he say, I can give. But he doesn't want to give this Shuddha Bhakti to anyone very easily. Understand? Because this Shuddha Bhakti is very rare. This Shuddha Bhakti is very rare. Liberation, Krishna may want to give, but Bhakti will not give. Understand? Because what happens when someone this is Bhakti? What he does, Krishna cannot see. He will weep, he will cry, tears will flow from his eyes, he will jump, uh, right? Like the condition of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now this book, as it progresses, you'll see that how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to stand before Jagannath. 
and when he used to stand before Jagannath, seeing Jagannath Baldev and Subhadra, he used to think, I am Kurukshetra, I am seeing Krishna, I am Radha. And by the tears from his eyes, uh, the, the floor of Jagannath temple is to become filled. And such tears. Then he used to go to Gandhira. He used to rub his cheeks on the wall, crying, Kothai Krishna, where is Krishna, where is Krishna? So this lamentation manifests. Even Vratasya Priya Nama Kirtya Jatano Rako Drujit Jyotse Asatiti Rodhiti Rauti Gayati Vandmadavan Vratiti Loka Bhaiya When someone gets, comes to this stage of bhava, what to speak of Prima and advanced stage like Mahabhava or Mahabhava, what, what will happen to that person actually? Unbelievable. That person may sometimes weep, cry, roll on the ground. Uh, actually, um, all the emotions were the director and Mahabhava's body were like two and heroine. Like in a movie, there is a hero and heroine, and they are directed by a director. So, all these transcendental ecstasies were like directors. And Mahaprabhu's dreams were like hero, heroine, and actors on the stage or on, on a film. And Mahaprabhu's all limbs were controlled by these ecstasies. He was not in control. These ecstasies were controlling him. Understand? It will be described in future. Mm. So, now this is a very important verse. Now, this verse. On this verse, Shri Gurudev he told, and Shri Gurudev Maharaj also. Sakala Jagadhe More Kare Vai Divakti Vidhi Vakti Dravavarna Ipai Tenai Shakti Sakala Jagadha, all, Sakala means all, Jagadha in the... Uh, regulatory devotion service. Vidhi Vakti, a regulatory devotion service, Vraja Bhava, feelings of those in Vraja. 5 to 10 and nahi, not uh, shakti, the power. Everywhere in the world, people worship me according to scriptural injunction. But simply by following such regulatory principles, one cannot attain the loving sentiments of the devotees in the Praja world. Now, now, this was the mission of Srila Gurudev. Srila Gurudev always stressed that I have come to give Radha Nagabhakti. Especially, I want to tell you that I have come to give Rupa Nagabhakti. He said, Now you are okay. Now you know that, you know, Bhaktivedanta Sai Maharaj told you, Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. But he said, now I have come to tell you the opposite. Krishna is not the supreme personality of Godhead. Forget that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. And now you should think that he is only the son of Mother Sudha. Because all the time if you think that he is the supreme personality of Godhead, supreme personality of Godhead, then you will land in Vaikuntha. Understand? Now you forget that. Because in Braj, no one accepts Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, they all accept him as, uh, someone will think he is my son, someone will think he is my friend, someone will think he is my sweetheart. <coughs> no one will think he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Even Yashoda also. So many times, uh, a vision came that she saw power of Krishna, but this thought never came to the Vrajavasi that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Mm. So, Vidhi Bhakti, Vaiti Bhakti has a limitation. It can take you to Vaikuntha. Understand? But Raghavala Bhakti can take you to Bolo. And especially Rupanuga Bhakti can give you your desired goal. Ashura Kyanida Sava Jagatam Mishrita Ashura Shitala Premena Himura Priya Ashura Kyanida. The knowledge of the options is Sava, all Jagata, the world, Mishrita, mixed. Actually, Shikala Preme, to love enfeebled by opulence, Nahi, there is not more of the attraction. Knowing my opulence is, the whole world looks upon you with awe and reverence. But devotion made feeble by such reverence is not attractive. Now, this is a very important thing. Uh, you should, should always know this. Uh, that if all the time you are thinking Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then that type of love cannot give satisfaction to Krishna. Mm. It cannot please Krishna too much. Uh, you can please him for attracting. He will be attracted only if you are in the mood of like Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari, especially Raghunath Goswami and our Sri Goswami. That will please him the most. That will give him the greatest satisfaction. After his appearance, Lord Krishna thought that he had not distributed the transcendental personal dealings with his devotees in Dasya, Sakya, and Madhurya. One may understand the science of Supreme Personality of Godhead from the very literatures and thus become a devotee of the Lord and worship Him within the regulatory principles described in the scriptures. 
but we will not know in this way how Krishna is served by the residents of Prajavu. One can understand the dealings of the Lord in Vrindavan simply by executing the ritualistic regulatory principles mentioned in the scriptures. So basically today also Shripa Dandi Maharaj called me and he said, you know, Maharaj telling me first, Narutam Vyas, Narutam Vishnu, Nismat of your Jagadji. And I said, Maharaj, I think Padma, Padma Puran. And I checked the reference, and indeed it was from Padma Puran. Um, and uh, it is quoted in Chaitanya Janita Amrut, Bhakti Rasamra, Sindhu, Bhakti Rasamra, Sindhu, Sindhu, Deva Dharma. So many places this verse has been quoted. So there are two principles. Always remember Krishna and never forget him. And all the rules and regulations are serves, uh, rules and regulations, basically. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, give water to Tulsi. This is a rule. And what is regulation? Don't pluck Tulsi on Dwadashi or don't approve Tulsi. This is actually regulation. So do's and don'ts. These are there. We have to follow them. I am not telling don't do Vaidhi Bhakti. Like there is one Sampradaya that is um, Radha Vallabh, uh, this means uh, he tells most Sampradaya. They don't give any regard to Vaidhi Bhakti. They say only Radha Marga Bhakti. Raga Marga Bhakti. He said, we don't follow Ekadashi, no need for us to follow any rules and regulations. Uh, only thing is, only chant Radhe Radhe and we are happy about it. Hmm. But no, we have to follow regulated Bhakti. We must follow all these regulated Bhakti. Ekadashi, taking bath as much as possible after passing stool and things and that. Understand. But um, our uh, by following scriptural injunctions, one may enhance his appreciation for the glory of the Lord, but there is no chance for one to enter the personal dealings with him. Giving too much attention to understanding the exalted glories of the Lord reduces the chance of one's entering into personal learning of the Lord. So, Srila Bhaktivedanta Chidar Maharaj calls this to be hurled down to Vaikuntha. Just like in Manashiksha, those who want to enter Raganuga Bhakti, then they must study Manashiksha. So that one it is very clearly told. Na dharmam na dharmam shatirana naraktam kila guru vrade radha krishna prachara paricharyam yatano shatisunam nandishur sutape varam mukunda prashtate param ajantam uh, and um, we are told to serve radha krishna uh, and uh, asadvata vesha visrajamati sarva sarani tatha mukti vyagra na shrukha sarvata patalari Api Takva Lakshmi Pati Ratham Yato Vyomane Vajay Radha Krishna Swarati Ganado from Bajamaha. So it is told in Manas Shiksha that uh, even attachment to Narayan may be an entry, uh, may be an hindrance to your passage to go to Vajamaha. If you have too much attached to Narayan, then you will land up in Vaikuntha, not go to Golapur and Dhamma. Understand? So, um, we should not be very attached to Narayan also. We can do pranam to Narayan thinking that he is our Krishna, but we should be attached only to Brajananda and Shantanda Krishna. Like Gurudev says that in Vaikuntha, Krishna has a carrier, dual carrier that is Garuda. But one time in Braja, Krishna called Shidam, and Shidam is actually the source of Garuda. So Garuda came from Shidam, and Shidam like, became like a Garuda and Krishna climbed on his shoulders like a Garuda. That place is Garuda Govinda. Understand. So, Gurudev said that Braj uh, is the source of everything. Braja, the mood of awe and reverence is not applicable. The mood of awe and reverence will take you to Vaikuntha. So, we will have to come to some point where we give up the mood of awe and reverence gradually. Everything is about association. We should associate with Vaishnavas uh, properly. In living in a matter situation also, sometimes you see that uh, one Brahmachari was there and he was um, living in Ch uh, Chennai Gaudiya Mat. And Bharati Maharaj writes about it. And then Bhakti Daita Madhavasya Maharaj, means his name Madhavasya Maharaj, Brahmachari. And Bhakti Riday Ban Maharaj, both of them observed this Brahmachari. And this Brahmachari was living aloof from everyone, he was not talking to anyone. So then they realized that there is some problem. So then he asked the Brahmachari, that they asked Brahmachari, why you don't associate with other devotees? They say that the other devotees engage in puzzle poem and some mundane talks, so I don't want to associate with them. 
but Shira Bhaktaradeva Banu Maharaj said it's okay. Sometimes to joke with our friends, uh, God brothers, and sometimes even some mental talks are all okay. But if you remain aloof like this, you will not last long here. And that is what happened. A letter came from his mother and he went to marry a girl. Then after realizing, after getting married, he realized that what problem he has fallen into. But, but anyway, he passed many years. Maybe when he becomes 60 or 65, he again joined the mud as a vana person. Because he knew that he has wasted his life. <laughs> so the point here is that um, we should have favorable association. But if you always associate with those who are from that, uh, 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 those who are attached to Nara and or Ram, then we become like them. So we should have association which is like minded. Sajatiya, Sanadu, 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 Association should be with the like minded devotees. Um, Aishwarya Gyani Vidhi Bhajana Kariya Vaikuntha Loke Aya Chatur Vida Murti Paya. Like Shila Gurudev, when he used to go to some temples, like Shila Gaurvind Maharaj also, I used to see that they are putting peacock feather on Gaur Nita. Then he, he said, What is this? Why you are putting peacock feather on Gaur Nita? Especially Gauranga. Because Gauranga is in the mood of Krishna Radharani. He is in the mood of Radharani. Why would he put peacock feather? Why you are disturbing his mood? Understand. So therefore, um, some names were given to the deities, like Pukwiti uh, Dwarkadish. Then Gurudev said that this is not the right mood for right name for the deity to give Pukwiti Dwarkadish or Radha Bharata Sarthi, because we are not devotees of Bharata Sarthi Krishna. Who gave instructions to Arjuna. We are devotees of Rajananda Shamsundar Krishna, and we are not interested in Pukwiti and Dwarkadish. That is not a mood. We do pranam to them millions and millions of times, but. We want to worship their Amshi, the source of Dwarkadish, that is Vajanandana, Shamsakur, Krishna, the host of the of God. But I assure again, in the novel of opulence, it is according to rules and regulations, Vajana, Vashi, uh, Kariya, doing Vaikuntha Gate to the Vaikuntha Chai. They got Chaturvida, four kinds of book, the liberation. It is told that by performing such regulated devotion service in oil veneration, one may go to Vaikuntha and attain the four kinds of liberation. If you want Sahitya, Sarupya Mukti, the form like Narayan, Foran form, uh, or Sarupya, Salukya, same planet, living on the same planet as Narayan, then you can do this way you work. But if you want going beyond Vaikuntha, based on Bharat, Bhagavatam, Kasa, Parshra, Gurudev, and then you realize, Gurudev especially, his speciality was Raga Nuga Bhakti. He always used to speak Radha Nuga Bhakti. Always. He also outlined the regulated Bhakti and rules and regulations, everything he taught. But especially he said that you must know that you must have to do Radha Nuga Bhakti. If now or later. Because simply if you are doing Vaidhi Bhakti, you will land either in Dwarka, you will become a queen of Krishna, or you will go to Vaikuntha to be an associate. Uh, like Ratta, like Garuda and all. Understand. You cannot go to Golok Vrindavan unless you develop the Raganuga Bhakti mood. So, uh, this is very important. We will stop here now. We have stopped at the verse number uh, 18 of chapter 3. We are uh, present at a very nice place. Uh, this is a, it's a very good chapter, very, very important chapter, especially for new devotees and even for the Senior devotees also, if they read it again and again, they have to strengthen their faith with Raga Nagu Bhakti, Raga Marga Bhakti. So, we should uh, again and again study this book. Swami Maharaj on the Jalutta was studying this book, and he felt very effective. So, this, is the, this, is, this one book is actually an essence in some, some total of the books in the world. This one book is preserved, and even if all the books are lost, still hard. What is it done for the past? It is very important. If anyone has any comments or questions, please ask. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time. And um,
So thank you, dear devotees. If there's no questions, we'll end here. Maj, Jai Diwani, please. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Shripad Bhakti Vedanta Vishwadeti Maharaj Ki Jai. Thank you, dear devotees, for joining today. And we'll see you all, all tomorrow for Shripad Bhakti Vedanta uh, Dandi Maharaj's class, 12 p.m. So, and then we'll see Shripad Bhakti Vedanta Vishwadeti Maharaj again on Sunday with Bhagavad Gita as it is at 8 p.m. Thank you. Hare Krishna Dandavat Pranam Banshakalpa Tsurubhyasriya. Passing your grave, a chapel to Benham Pavan, you be a race for the new Thank you, 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 Thank